Good day. My name is Kan Hyungi. I'm orthopedist doing surgery on uh, uh, musculoskeletal tumors in National Clinical Center in Korea. Since uh, currently I'm in uh, National uh, uh, Cancer Center in Korea, my heart is with you in the great city of St. Petersburg. I would like to express uh, gratitude to Korean International Medical Association for the invitation. So our topic is, to is the use of 3D printing in bone tumor surgery. So here you see South Korea and in the National Cancer Center uh, Korea treats uh, bone tumors, and in Korea we can uh, divide tumors on primary and metastatic tumors, resulting in much more of bone metastasis. In our center, we use those unique hollow perforated screws and nails for minimal invasive interventions in patients with metastatic bone cancer. Our bones, uh, our cancer center, uh, has a leading position in the world. Uh, moreover, in 2007, to treat bone uh, tumors, we used uh, uh, guided uh, navigation. As a result, we used percutaneous navigation and MRI-guided navigation. I would like to talk about 3D printing bone reconstruction, which is one of the uh, foundations or pillars for force uh, industrial revolution. Since um, there is a translation, I will speak, uh, I will shorten my text and will try to show as many clinical cases as possible. So please uh, understand these, uh, so to say, specifics. As you do know, at the beginning of the corona uh, epidemic, there was a lack of medical equipment. That's why 3D printing technology was very useful. My first experience with 3D printing uh, was actually in 2016. A 23 year old patient with a calcaneus bone uh, had an issue. This bone is next to the uh, Achilles and is a part uh, of the bone which uh, is, uh, and so to say, where we have the largest workload. I decided to use 3D printing and create metal titanium implant. Uh, to prevent uh, subluxation instability, I make service mesh design. So it uh, so to uh, connect uh, to the soft tissue and to provide adhesion to uh, to avoid um, uh, post-operation uh, heel problems. Uh, we I shorten the heel length and we use flat plancher surface. And also to avoid subtal osteoarthritis, I use percutaneous screw fixation. So I wanted to uh, fix it all with screws without uh, further removal of the screws. When the patient came uh, to my clinic for the first time, he was in the Korean army. Currently, five years after surgery, he can sit fine. He can, uh, uh, is everything okay in the office. There is no subluxation, stability, or arthritis also uh, have not developed. In Korea, uh, three titanium uh, uh, um, alloys uh, implants were well, licensed, licensed by registered by KFDA in 2013. Uh, for limb salvage surgery, we use various methods. It's also, three D printed implants are uh, custom made. Uh, various restoration techniques require uh, quite prolonged surgery and produce a uh, high complication rate. Uh, among existing methods, there is, for instance, uh, the method of autograft use. The matter is that after the, uh, auto, uh, the tissue is uh, resected, then the tumor is uh, posterized at 65 degrees during 35 minutes and then fixed in the same place where it used to be there. The problem is that the tissue turned to be uh, non, uh, so to say, dense enough and it could, dis it could get destroyed. In case of our transplant, it's hard to find a bone. Uh, to the similar size, and it takes time for allograph shaping and fix. And also, uh, so the reconstruction time uh, is also quite prolonged. 
with regard to the pelvis, which is one of the most important uh, organ for 3D printed implants. It was my first uh, clinical case of the patient of 53 years of age. The uh, patient has uh, no uh, breast because of uh, bilateral mastectomy, because of breast cancer. Regretfully, she uh, developed primary bone tumor in her proximal femoral bone. In the other hospital, she was said that this is a post-stop uh, post uh, relapse with a um, uh, metal fracture. That's why amputation is necessary. We also recommended amputation, but the woman, since she already lost her uh, both breasts, she wanted to have her uh, legs uh, retained. I plan to use 3D printed implants. Since it was my first case, I thought about how strongly and stably fix uh, the uh, iliac bone. We created a special uh, structure as an uh, inverted V-shaped cut with interbridging plant uh, with, uh, uh, along with the acetabulum cup. The weight of the construct was 530 grams. We used the navigation to resect the bone. Uh, for the accurate fitting of the implant. The surgery was done successfully. We use of the uh, specifically produced construct, a 3D pelvis cell transplant uh, for total hip replacement surgery. Uh, it took a lot, a lot of time to create uh, the cup of the deprothesis and 3D implant with each other. Operation field was quite small. That's why it was quite hard to fix the THA cup and uh, elect bone just with two uh, screws. So finally, the next thing. For the 3D printing of the cup, or stabulum cup, when to use, I have chosen 52 millimeter uh, cup of the uh, artificial joint. I scanned five uh, uh, holes in this cup and printed it at the, with a 3D uh, printer. So we combined a cup and a 3D pelvis during the surgery at another additional operation field. It made possible to considerably decrease the size of the surgery. Now, I would like to show you some examples starting from the pelvis. So, patient, 47 years of age, left, uh, pel uh, uh, left uh, pelvis chondrosarcoma. We printed uh, implant, uh, a 3D implant with a whole mesh body. It should fix uh, pubic bone and uh, ischak bone. The next uh, patient, 51 years of age, left uh, right uh, pelvis osteosarcoma. After model of this part of the ischial bone, we found that this part has, uh, doesn't have any uh, load on it. We decreased its, its weight up to 530 grams. Another patient, 35 years of age, Ewing sarcoma at her left uh, pelvis. In this patient, we reconstruct only her acetabulum without pubis and issue in bones because she had uh, uh, cancer of her pelvic uh, uh, bottom, which is easy to, which is quite often relapses. We even create a longer cup screw hole and mesh bone border. Another patient, 48 years of age, she had osteosarcoma of her left pelvis, and to the different region, she required chemotherapy uh, as fast as possible. She wanted to spare her uh, hip joint, that's why we resected all her uh, iliac part, and after intraoperational cross surgical ablation, we fixed a 3D implant of her iliac bone. The part between the acetabulum and the implant was filled with bone cement, which in the future uh, will make possible in case of osteoarthrosis to easier fix uh, an, an artificial acetabulum. Another patient, 57 years of age, resection uh, uh, of hidden the bone uh, malignant tumor through the resection of the tumor, then the factory is filled with uh, with uh, mesh spacer. Another patient, 26 years of age, 
chondrosynchoma of her right, right iliac bone. When reconstructing the iliac bone, if the implant size and the, uh, uh, the size of plate will be above, uh, 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 will be, uh, will, if the size of the, so to say, uh, crest it will be larger than usual. There could be some irritation in her skin. We used previously a uh, viral mesh, uh, and we decided to use uh, bone cement and pin. Uh, the patient, 21 years of age, in early ages, is, uh, is, it was fixed after pasteurization of the auto transplant. All patients developed some post-op complications. Patient, 55, 56 years of age, chondrosarcoma. We reconstructed his pubic bone with a 3D printer in order to avoid herniation and penis displacement uh, for uh, normal sexual activity and sports activities. Uh, this patient, uh, in six months, uh, could ride a, a mountain bike. So male, 22 years of age, uh, young sarcoma of his pelvis. With a 3D uh, printing technology, we managed to retain his acetabulum. Uh, 50 years of age. Uh, in this patient, uh, she was installed with artificial joint using strengthening uh, 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 ring for artitabulum bone. But the piece of the tabulum resulted in uh, irritation of ischiatic nerve and inflation uh, as an abscess. We removed uh, all these constructs so successful, and with 3D printing, we uh, created her, uh, her acetabulum and replaced uh, replace it. It also was hard to do surgery in the pelvis. I could briefly show you the types of pelvic surgeries. You see the components of the acetabulum placed in uh, uh, initially uh, directing uh, patterns as operating field. The, uh, the, the template for pubic bone and the leg bone. We placed the uh, Asiac bone behind the acetabulum to resect the acetabulum, ostotomy. We place the uh, uh, pin of the uh, joint, and then we could place the implant uh, printed with a 3D printer. Then connection of the artificial joint, and then creation of the uh, hip joint capsule. Here, uh, it was issued two years ago, prior before the uh, epidemic. There was a team of college orthopedists of the National Cancer Center. I hope that coronavirus would uh, disappear and our life will turn to be normal as previously, as fast as possible. I would like to show several examples uh, from upper to lower extremities. Patient, 15 years of age, young sarcoma at his right scapula. We did a total scapulectomy. Then we reconstructed uh, his joint with using 3D arthroplasty, his scapula and shoulder. With a shoulder arthroplasty, 3D printed uh, scapula plate could be easily fixed uh, as uh, it was irregular and with a reverse uh, shoulder arthroplasty. Patient 61 years of age, condescent chrome of her right scapula. The scapula of this patient was reconstructed with a combination of uh, uh, inverse uh, uh, shoulder arthroplasty and 3D uh, printed uh, uh, scapula. Previously, we used various reconstruction techniques for uh, uh, shoulder bone, but there was not enough of them with uh, some amount of uh, uh, post-op complications. For instance, prosthesis and bone cement or prosthesis and allograft or uh, I'm nails uh, plus uh, intermediary nails and uh, osteoarticular allografts. Uh, we did reconstruction uh, using intermediary nails with bone cement. Uh, patient 20 years of age, osteosarcoma. We needed to resect uh, bone just above the uh, uh, um, about the ulnary, about the elbow. It was hard to it was hard to do the surgery because the resection should be done at the upper elbow part. So we printed 3D bone, uh, 
shoulder bone and then we could place the uh, um, pin there. We managed to reconstruct the bone of the advanced tumor process using 3D printing of the uh, shoulder bone. Uh, uh, another uh, case where we reconstructed both uh, uh, arms. Because of the relapse of the middle part, we had to remove the um, uh, elbow part. After the uh, rapid study using the resected uh, sample, we found out that soft tissues were quite nicely immersed into the titanium. Bone integration was higher with uh, uh, mesh space is a, uh, 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 one year after surgery it was removed, but the bone was already strongly uh, connected. We reconstructed one uh, um, uh, forearm bone, but then there was a fracture, so we did a 3D printed uh, connector connecting existing 3D implant and a little piece of the bone at uh, his elbow. Then the forearm was successfully reconstructed and made uh, fully uh, functional. I would like to show an example of the lower extremity. Patient of 54 years of age with uh, uh, malignant tumor at her uh, right femoral bone with a segmental uh, tumor resection. And since the tumor has a quite considerable load, we uh, we united uh, 3D printed femoral bone, a retrograde uh, intramedullary bone, to fix them, uh, so to say, uh, uh, in a confident way. Another patient is 8, 60 years of age. He had very hard solitary bone metastasis uh, requiring segmentary resection. In this case, we use a 3D printed implant of her cortical bone uh, layer as a reconstructed surface with an intermedullary nail and bone cement. It improved the integration with surrounding soft tissues. Uh, male, 68 years of age, and uh, another man, 27 years of age. Diagnosis, uh, tumor of the distal part of his uh, femoral bone near the knee joint. We can use the block with a plate or we can make an uh, intercondylar uh, plate. Another patient, 36 years of age, uh, benign bone tumor uh, uh, with fibrosis dysplasia. She had virus deformation and neck retroversion and shortening of her legs. Uh, the fracture uh, was not healed during six months. We removed not just the tumor, but also completely corrected the deformity, the deformity using 3D printing technology. In the middle part, we used uh, open wedge spacer and uh, wedge plate and the, and the lateral part. Another patient, 67 years of age, contrails sarcoma of her uh, right distal femur. She wanted to save her knee joint, though in, her, in the young age she had a trauma of her left uh, leg. Her uh, right leg was a tumor was 10 centimeters longer. It was uh, quite complex case, but the result was successful. We diminished the length of her right leg uh, by 8 centimeter. Regretfully, during training, uh, the 3D implant got broken. We did uh, emergency surgery with double plate, uh, uh, and, and, uh, but fixation wasn't successful. So we created a connector, we printed it with a 3D printer, which connected the existing implant uh, and normal bone. So uh, along with that, we corrected virus deformity and, uh, and uh, it's underlined mechanical and anatomical axis. Uh, patient 13 years of age with pathological fracture of the diaphysis of his left tibia. Uh, we, we waited for results of biopsy for, uh, of uh, the tumor for two weeks in other hospitals. Adamantinoma was diagnosed. In our center, in a week after the first visit, we did reconstruction with a 3D printed implant of the segment of his tibia just in one week. patient was also sarcoma with proximal uh, left uh, tibia. In order to uh, sp save the joint, uh, we used special, uh, so to say, uh, uh, guiding wires uh, for stereostomy and implant. It was successful result. during chemotherapy, no infections developed, and no other functional issues.
another patient, 14 years of age, with osteosarcoma of her, uh, uh, of her uh, left, uh, proximal left tibia. It was impossible to st save the joint, but we decided to save her distal femoral bone and did hem hemiartroplasty. This is a case when we uh, connected 3D implant with regular, uh, regular so to say, uh, artificial joint. Now, several words uh, about revision surgery. Patient, patient 56 years ago, uh, 56, 56 years of age, 20 years ago, when the artificial joints were not of that good quality, his femoral hip joint was reconstructed through the section of his left uh, uh, pelvic bone with a prosthesis called, uh, called so-called uh, saddle prosthesis. With such prosthesis, it's hard to sit at his uh, hip joint, and it should be reconstructed because it was too mob mobile, but we reconstructed it using 3D printed implant. Another patient, 46 years of age, uh, she underwent several surgeries at her right pelvis, and the last of them was at uh, uh, pel allogra uh, pelvis allograft, but it was distracted and with uh, uh, hip joint uh, luxation. We initially, we tried to reconstruct even the pubic uh, ramus, but uh, because of the patient's uh, condition, we couldn't do it. So 3D printing could be done uh, as an assembly of uh, that uh, type. We treat not only cancer patients. That's a, that's a patient of 39 years of age with multiple fractures because of car accident. We did five surgeries uh, with her pelvis, but she could walk only with a uh, wheelchair. Uh, she could move all with wheelchair. We use 3D implant, and now she can now she can walk and return to normal life and work. Um, so we can say there are lots of cases where you can use surgery using 3D implants made of titanium alloy. In particular, we need to uh, have a very good collaboration with engineers uh, experienced in computers. It's very important. The National Cancer Center has an international uh, scholarship program. With the help of Springer Nature, I created several cases and published a book called Clinical Atlas of 3D Printing Bone Reconstruction. If you uh, if you read this book, I think it will be quite helpful, helpful in treating uh, hard cases of bone reconstruction. And with that, uh, I would like to finish my talk. Thanks for your attention, and I hope that coronavirus will be over soon and we will meet in real world, in, re in reality. Thank you.